Hey guys, so today um, I'm just doing a little prepping of the van to get ready for our camping trip this weekend. I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys the van that we used to camp. Um, so I'm just standing in the van here now. Um, I am able to stand with a couple inches. I'm standing straight up. And I'm able to do that with no issues, but Joe is like a little hunched when he stands in here. So it's not quite tall enough, but it works. And it's pretty nice. We put in these hardwood floors. It's just laminate flooring that we put down. Um, we've got this space over here that we use um, as a little storage spot for our cooler and then the bin there for dry food and camping supplies. We got this little drawer thing. Underneath the bed we have something stored. There's a little bin back there. Our shoes and chairs are stored over here. A camp toilet, camp heater, shovel, etc. is over there. And then um, when we pick, we just put things underneath the bed for easy storage. It makes it really easy. And this is the bed. It's pretty cool. We got a nice clean size mattress here. We have this countertop that Joe installed. It's really nice. It's actually actual hardwood flooring that we used to make this countertop. Um, it works out really well and it's nice to have something that we can put stuff on and make food at and everything and then over here we have more storage for our clothes it's really a convenient spot to put all of our clothes because we don't have to be standing straight up in this area because that's where the seats are so it's really easy if I can, I will insert um, pictures of what the van looked like before and um, you guys will get to see how much work we actually did on it. Well, Joe did a lot of the work, so um, I really got to give him a huge thank for literally every single thing that he did to this van because it wouldn't be what it is today if we didn't have him. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish prepping the van, um, get the rest of the stuff packed. When Joe gets home, we are going to pack the cooler and um, finish up the food and head out. I'm really excited. Um, that is if he doesn't have to work tomorrow. Hopefully he gets off and then we will be on our way to the Adirondacks tonight. I'm just really excited for this trip. I really need it, and I know he does too, so it'll be fun. One more thing. Um, I do want to tell you guys a little bit about our trip this weekend. I'm sure um, the rest of this vlog will obviously show you what we did, but I just want to talk about it right now, so I'm going to. We're going to the Adirondacks this weekend for a camping trip and to start our journey on becoming 46ers. I am so excited. I have wanted to do this since I found out what 46ers was. We are going to be climbing Cascade and Porter t this weekend. They are the two easiest mountains that we could find in like the 46er challenge thing. We're gonna plan on summiting um, Cascade around sunrise or at least be on 
top of the mountain at sunrise. Um, and then we'll head back down and back up to Porter and then head back out. So those trails kind of start as one and then split off to go to Cascade or to Porter. So it seems like a really good way to knock out two mountains at once. It's a relatively easy hike. We looked into it and um, it's going to be six and a half-ish miles, which isn't too bad. So we'll see what happens. Joe got out of work early, which is exciting. He just showed up randomly. He didn't tell me he was on his way home. We are going to finish packing the van and head out of here. I'm really excited. I've said that a million times already. It's been a while since we've been camping and the last couple times we went weren't the greatest. So they were great, but I can get into those stories in another video. Oh, I don't think Joe's gonna take a nap. Um, he did say he wanted to take like an hour nap first, but sounds like he's not going to. We will be to the Adirondacks soon. I'm excited. Let's go. Friday morning. Um, we're at a gas station truck stop thing because Joe got tired. He had a long day at work so we stopped and slept. I just took Beetle out. We fed him. He went poop and pee which is great. Always a little bit harder to get him to go on the leash. Joe is inside getting us breakfast so we're gonna eat and then head to the Adirondacks. And I think that our hiking plans are slightly changed because we do want to get to um, either Cascade or Porter for sunrise. So that's not gonna happen today. okay? Yeah, he just, there's a really deep, fast current right here, and I just didn't want him to get scared in there, so I just wanted him to get back up on the rock. I'm gonna get up on this big rock, see if I can get him up there with him. Hey, Vito. Go follow Daddy. Easy, buddy. There you go. Come on. Can you make it through there? Been a little nut job, dude. Trying to 
trying to jump off cliffs. So we are at the top of Cascade Mountain. Um, we did make it. So I want to give you guys a nice little view of the mountain. take a nap and then head to Ben's. Most likely Cayuca Lake. Cayuca Lake is next. Um, we didn't do Porter. We're not going to do Porter because we're tired. Cascade kicked our ass. Cascade kicked our ass. But it was fun and the view was wonderful. So we'll be back.